Don't just assume I've got a thing for older women, okay? Man, it's been some time. But here we are again. Oh, in between the last episode, I started playing that new Pokemon game, uh, Legends Arceus, and uh, well, it's quite addicting to be fair. Um, but yeah, let's come back into this and see what happens. Last time we had finished this setup. Um, yeah, we got Tenma as the friend. She's paying for it. And uh, all the other girls were already sort of like dating and uh, with the exception of the girls who want to be brothers or something like that. It was weird. But anyway, let's carry on. The chime of the ticket barrier echoes quietly in my ears. As I stand there in a daze, my hazy brain reminds me of my little sister. And so I start staggering back home. But a wicked sensation on my back, once again, calls me to a halt. Man, that was quick. It's my classmate who I just saw disappear behind the ticket barrier. <laughs> Man, the fact that there's no music playing right now is putting me on edge. Ooh. Uh, wanna be badass? <laughs> okay. I stand stock still by the still crowded ticket barrier with my classmate who got less behind. Left behind. Man, I wish there were crowds, but whatever. Visual novels, right? You missed the last train, and you're telling me this why? Ah, <laughs> can you say manufactured incident? I swear. And whose big idea was it to wander around this late at night? Since she refuses to tell me the details, I have no idea what Tenma's getting at here. And now that I've taken her money, I honestly don't want to know. Okay, we're friends, so here's a friendly word of advice. Go hail a taxi. You've got money, don't you? Man, I can barely hear her over the background music. What the hell? Uh, just gonna quickly dive into the settings and see if I should tone down the background. Weird. Okay, then take your money back and go home. How often do you get the customer telling you no refunds? Do you really have to split hairs like that? She's right though, now that I've taken the money, it's mine. And honestly, I don't really want to give it back. Wait, let me rephrase that. I really don't want to give it back. I know nothing good will come out of forcing her to take the money back. And I just don't have it in me to surrender money once it's been handed to me. I can't help it, I love money. Then you can, oh, fucking hell. Then can you call someone to come pick you up? Like a butler or something. <laughs> A maid, eh? I wonder if we'll get to meet her. I'm pretty sure having a maid at all makes you quite more well off than most families. That's what I think, anyway. Then she gave over a whole bunch then. What was she saying? Oh, this is all I have on me. Like it's pocket change. What the fuck? Well, good for you. I don't get New Year's money or an allowance, so that doesn't mean a damn thing to me. Then just get your parents to come pick you up. They're probably worried anyway. Mama 
こんな時間にお外ぶらつけないよ。うん。Can you say irresponsible? Uh, I see. My bad. She pats me on the shoulder. Wait, why is she admonishing me? Here I am with a female classmate of mine who missed the last train. How am I supposed to handle her? What? What? <laughs> hey, for someone who missed the last train, you seem kind of excited, you know? That's it, guys. Next time, I'm gonna try being lost. Should be fun. Maybe, except not when I'm stuck with a burden like you. And here comes the blackmail angle. Is that a threat? Give it up. You really think I'm going to be bothered by something like. I don't really give a damn about Sagawa, but we just formed a contract, and I really don't want to lose her as a source of income. Hmm. Huh? Uh, yeah, I see. What about it? I don't really care about Sagawa at all, but I guess Tenma could have taken that as me sticking up for her. It'd be more beneficial for me to agree to her misunderstanding than to disagree, so I'll take it. Look at those stars in her eyes, man. If she weren't such a piss take, she'd be cute. Forget about her. You've got your own problem right now. At this rate, she's got no choice but to kill time somewhere until daybreak. Fortunately, we're in the city. We've got so many 24 hour establishments here, it's honestly sickening. Oh, oh god, we've made it to the first choice. Let's save the game. Yeah. Ah, oh, gameplay. Fast food, karaoke, or hotel? <laughs> if we go to the hotel, is it just going to jump straight into an H scene? Um, I think the best, op uh, best option right now, honestly, is karaoke because I know in Japan they've got quite a lot of late, late night karaoke bars. Why the fuck is the arcade not an option here? That'd be fun. Fast food's not bad, but karaoke would be more friendly, I suppose. So let's go earn some, let's go earn our money. How about karaoke? I'm going home, duh. <laughs> uh, you're okay walking around at night like that, but solo karaoke is where you draw the line? You pick some weird things to get embarrassed about. Oh, bother. <laughs> Can you please stop laughing like that? I'm leaving you behind. Seriously, how did this happen? If I keep loitering around with her, I'm going to get arrested. Even though we're not in uniform, Tenma's clearly still a student. Wait a minute, you're also a student. Why are you worried? What's with that slightly anxious face? You were so excited until just a moment ago. Guess I'm in it for the long run. I've taken the money, and it's just bad karma to abandon a classmate after all. Ugh, wanna come over to my place? Wait a minute, did that option mean anything? Yeah, it's just a short walk from here. Uh, yeah. Okay, take care then. <laughs> oh my god, she's right in our face. We've got class tomorrow, you know. I'll lend you a place to sleep. So just leave on the first train. Besides, I don't exactly live alone, so you don't have to worry about that sort of stuff. So, 
嫌そうな顔してるね。Of course. I am an. <laughs> like I said, of course. I am uneasy in a lot of ways. そうだよね。こんな時間にお家に女の子連れてきたら怒られちゃうもんね。I don't think he would. I don't live with my parents. <laughs> からかってみただけ。That's odd. Usually things get awkward with when I talk about my parents, but Tenma doesn't seem phased in the slightest. So are you coming or not? Tenma sleepily rubbed her eyes. Not exactly a smart idea walking around at night when you're tired. Once we're home, I gotta ask her what a story is, especially what's up with all this money. It's not like that at all. Please don't misunderstand. Try anything weird and I'm kicking you out, okay? An honest student who does delinquent things. I don't know what exactly that's from. That's up from.、Uh, <laughs> I don't know exactly what that's up from, but considering how I'm bringing Tenma home with me right now, I'm too tired to even ask. Yeah, I'm feeling a little tired as well. Anyway. I think I'm coming down with something, some kind of illness. Oh, whatever. I'm home. When we get back to my place, the lights are off. I guess Suki actually listened to me this time. Since I whispered, Tenma must have taken my lead as she timidly makes a greeting before taking off her broken heels and. <laughs> I forgot about that. Blo broken heels and placing them neatly by the door. <sighs> you sweet child, why are you sleeping in the sitting room? You should go to your room. Ah, you slept all the way out here. When I turn on the lights, I find Tsuki snoozing on the sofa. She probably fell asleep waiting for me to come home, even though I told her to go to sleep. Lay a finger on her and I'm kicking you out. Oh, I do love double entendres. I push Tenma away when she tries poking Tsuki's cheek with the tip of her finger as I carry my sleeping sister to her bed. When I close the door to Tsuki's room and come back to the living room, I find a bored Tenma standing in place, ready to ask me a question. No, that was my mom. <laughs> yeah, her name Tsuki. Really? Huh. Does she now? I'll take your word for it. I don't get that a lot. I mean, I'm antisocial, and Suki's a cute little angel after all. This girl really does have a screw loose, huh? Well, why don't you have a seat? You can't relax standing up like that, can you? I guess she's sitting on that chair over there. What are you, an old man? And with that, Tenma starts rubbing her foot. It's red where her shoe sore was. One sec. Lately, it's hot outside, even at night, so I'm thirsty. I pour me and Tenma two cups of cool barley tea. Then I fish around the shelves for the first aid kit and take out some ointment. Here, have some tea and rub this on your foot. It's almost like having friends. Are you trying to pick a fight? Oh, for fuck's sake. Your standards are kind of low, huh? Making notes. Making notes. Yeah, sure. Um, right. How is that a sign of gratitude? That's more like a punishment game. 
の子のスアシに白いクリームを塗り塗りできる機会なんてそうないのに<笑>もったいない。Oh, this game. Oh, this fucking game. That's not my thing. But maybe it's mine. It feels like Tenma's dragging me down to her level, so I chug my tea to cool my head. Shinkai kun te, Imoto san to ftari grashi da yo ne. Yep, reasons. Yeah, what about it? Yeah, chotto uki ni na te. Sokka, sokka. Tenma seems a little restless. Oh, the toilet's that way. Terikoshi! Toile ja nai yo! <laughs> Go ahead. Shinkai kun, skarete るんだね A, oto kicha, me, takara ne. Man, what kind of pervert do you think I am? I'm not gonna listen. Just go already. I push Tenma to the bathroom and finally get a moment to myself. I just wanna lie down right now and sleep like a log. Shinkai kun te sa. Hey, it's not a race. Tenma's back quicker than expected. Looks like she's got a somewhat serious question. What is it? Excuse me? Never mind, it was a stupid question. Have you no delicacy? Not a public toilet, man. Come on. My little sister loves cleaning. So, Nanda. Ah, Shinkai kun wa chotto gasatsu da mono ne. What is she expecting us to do? Piss all over the walls or something? Gee, you really shared me out, figured me out, Sherlock. So, so re nanda yo, Watosun kun. Pat down, my sister's sleeping. I'm trying to keep it quiet, but Tenma's just having a blast on her own. But well, I guess this is as good an opportunity as ever to clear up all the questions I have. Well, that's enough about me. What's an honor student like you doing delinquent things for? It did say. Oh, it did say a uh, wannabe badass on a thing, didn't it? Can I pretend I didn't hear that? Ah, well, too bad, I suppose. She comes all the way up to my face and pokes me on the tip of my nose. I just want to smack her. What do you mean for some reason? It's because you always act like one. Tenma's popular because she's always got good behavior, and her grades are pretty good too. From anyone's perspective, she's an honor student, so the real mystery is why she'd walk around late at night in a skimpy outfit and casually accept a guy's invitation to take her home. Well, yeah, I can kind of tell from what I've seen of you today. Not the word I'd choose. More like an honor student straining herself to act like one. <laughs> I like that face, that's good. She glares at me with a look that says, Thanks for getting my hopes up for nothing, jerk! I didn't know you could make a face like that. So basically, you want to stray off the righteous path, huh? Is it? Is it really? Because every time someone says, hey, my problem's more serious than that, it tends to be just, oh, I'm in my rebellious phase. Like, yeah, seriously, I am not. I am not convinced yet. It's the same thing, isn't it? I don't know. Sounds to me like he's being a pretty good friend right now. Fine, I'll listen. Yes! Yes, I am! Okay, forget about me. Convince me that you're not just some rebellious teenage girl. 
捕まえられると話すの恥ずかしくなってくるんだけど。<sighs> Nevertheless, she prepares herself, straightens up a bit, and resumes talking. Oh, wow, this actually does sound serious. Yeah, me. Of course I know. <laughs> yeah. And she's saying that without even seeing her at work, where she was really cute. Sparkling. So, Kira Kira. My wa, to Chiraka, the you to Jimina type of the money. Imaja, Hamachan, ya, Momochan, me, Taina, put on Nakayoshi, the show. That reminds me, you two are childhood friends, right? Chotto, ne, Urayamashka, not chate. Don't know what I should not see an Amy Chan, not take on Uga, Urayamashka, the Sammy Shin. You poor child. Change happens. People change all the time. Not just in school, but in adult life as well. It'll happen. You just need to get used to it. You still get along, though, don't you? I mean, the two of you still talk in class, right? Maybe you should go have that girl talk with her, right? That's probably the best thing to do. Well, that's only to be expected considering it's all a bluff in an attempt to show off. Yeah. Yeah, poor Emmy. So not even Sagawa's own childhood friend knows she's just showing off, huh? At least from what I can tell, Tenma doesn't know, but I guess Sigawa hasn't always tried to show off. Hmm. <laughs> Even if it's only fool's gold that's sparkling. Oh, this face. I love this face. I do get what Tenma's trying to say, though. So that's why you're out and about late at night, huh? So I think you're trying too hard. But you sparkle all the time, don't you? You ought to be more aware of your own popularity. You're so popular, even I can tell. Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> Tenma's sulking face is just another example of how charming she is, with the exception of that gross laugh of hers. To be fair, I kind of like that laugh now as well. Like, yeah. <laughs> Darkling? <clears throat> I'm not sure what, what how to interpret that. What is darkling? You mean like putting on that badass act you mentioned before? So, yeah, Just like Sagawa, huh? Why can't you girls just take your exams? Why are you all putting it off to the end of summer? Hmm, can't argue with that. That's such an honest student thing to say. The fact that she doesn't even realize that means Tenma's still Tenma to the core. And that ended in disaster. And that's why you wanted me to be your nightlife friend. <sighs> Cut that out. She seems pretty chipper for someone who just said she's sleepy. I'd have to go back and check what exactly she asked for when she paid us the money, but I got the impression it was just for night time. Someone's getting greedy all of a sudden. Yeah, 
Yes. Mm. Is she worried about me and Tsuki? Or is she just being selfish? But why me of all people? Homewrecker! Because I'm her boyfriend? No, 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 no. Slack, slut, terrible woman. That's what it is. As long as it's just staying as friends, I guess so. There it is, her badass laugh. I got the impression we were sort of friends before, but, well, meh, I guess we just talked in class and that was it. Let's not be so hasty. Wait, first, you've got to have at least a few guy friends. And you paid money for this. <laughs> That's super bad. I'm not too happy about that. Yeah, exactly. You can just buy friendships these days, huh? How beautiful. Hmm. I don't know if she's belittling me for that, but I think she is. And quite frankly, woman, you need money, especially as an adult. So what's wrong with loving money? Can you please stop talking like I'm some lonely human being who doesn't know what love is? Who are you calling a siscon? I'm not sure if she said that, but she did say that you love your sister. But did she imply... Ah, oh, whatever. Exactly. There I go, jumping to conclusions before she's even actually said the word siscon. Where did the cheerfulness go? Tenma's pleading with me with her eyes. At first I thought the summer heat had gotten to her head, but it seems like she's got her own circumstances. But I've... Uh, fucking tongue twisted. But I've already made up my mind. Okay, but only until the end of summer break, okay? Considering the money you paid, that should be about right. I'm all about business, you see. As long as that's okay with you. Tenma meekly nods. She must be getting sleepy. Well, it's getting late. You can go ahead and sleep in my bed. I'll sleep over here. Don't worry about it. What? Uh, I'm sleepy too. Go ahead and take a shower or sleep or whatever you feel like. You've got until the first trains depart. If we were just classmates, maybe I'd be more courteous, but now that we're friends, I'm going to be casual with you. Tenma takes my crudeness fairly well as she heads off to the bathroom. I can hear the faint sound of the shower for a while. My classmate, <laughs> why did it shut off all of a sudden? That's a really quick shower, wasn't it? My classmate, who's quite attractive and popular, is taking a shower in my home in the middle of the night. 
Normally, I'd be more or less nervous in this situation, but everything that's happened today has got me worn out. My eyelids feel heavy. The second drawer. Tenma peeks her face out of the door before quickly pulling it back in. For a moment, I thought she was going to come out fully nude, but that's obviously not happening. Ugh, I was concerned for a second since she followed me home so easily, but I guess she gets embarrassed just like any other girl. Well, I guess that should be obvious. I can't help but reminisce. Tenma said that we were classmates even before we enrolled in our current academy. Now that I think about it, I guess I can vaguely remember her face and Sagawa's too. But my family situation was so chaotic at the time that I barely even attended classes. But even so, we might have talked at least once or twice. Hmm. Ooh, her perspective. I reluctantly put my somewhat sweaty clothes back on and timidly leave the bathroom. And when I do, I see Shinkai-kun sitting on the couch, snoozing away. Why is she so quiet? Like, what the hell? What the heck? Put the voices up a little bit. Since I couldn't poke his sister's cheeks, I cheerfully try poking his, making sure not to wake him up. Hmm, it's not that soft. What a letdown. Yeah, he was exhausted. I don't know what happened, but even though he usually makes that face, he looked even more tired today. Or am I only noticing it now because his bangs are swept back and I can get a better look at his face? Where did that come from? That's the other girl's thing. I almost pat him on the head. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My maternal instincts almost got the better of me. But I'm sure he's in it for the money, not for me. Maybe he's in it for me at least a little, but that's just wishful thinking. Yeah, tell me about it. Honestly, don't think anything of it. It's not like he's sleeping there with you. Just go to bed. I've never been in a guy's room before. It's cleaner than I expected. Look at all that manga. Yeah. Wait, hang on. Did I miss a line? While I'd like to take a look at things, that would be rude. I'd feel a little awkward getting into Shinkai-kun's bed while wearing uh, sweaty clothes, so I stripped down to my underwear before hiding under the covers. Hmm, a legit question. I honestly never would have thought that they were dating. Like I said before, home wrecker. I feel superior for some odd reason. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> yep, I truly am a badass. What's wrong with you? Why are you like this? <laughs> Even BFFs hide secrets from each other. I am a bit nervous, but I mostly can't sleep because I've got so much on my mind, that's all. My journey to becoming Tenma the Badass starts today, but it sure is a long one. What do I want to become? A half-truth or a half-lie? I still don't know the answer. Tsuki <laughs> shakes me awake. Ah, uh, what happened yesterday? Oh, yeah, I guess I must have dozed off. 
Judging by Hotsuki's acting, Tenma really did go home on the first train, huh? Damn, I'm so sleepy. And I've got work today. It must have been at least 2am by the time I fell asleep, so I didn't get enough sleep. I'm so sleepy, I can't think straight. Oh, right. I didn't bathe last night because of everything that happened with Tenma. Guess I'll take a morning shower. You missed the trains, you dolt. It's not until I'm half naked that I notice my classmate happily snoozing away in my bed. Nisama? Ooh. Ooh hoo hoo. Oh dear. Tsuki, I'm fine. Go ahead and eat breakfast without me. Nisama, sate wa neboketei masu ne. Ikura o shigoto da kara te, chanto hayaku kaete konai kara desu yo. Nebusoku wa manbyo no moto na no desu kara. That might explain a lot for me, uh, personally, but. Anyway, let's carry on. Yeah. Anyway, hang on a sec. I need to get situated. For now, I can't let Tsuki see what's going on inside this room. Sorry, sleepyhead. She starts squirming when I pull the sheets over her face. When Tsuki finally comes into the room, she immediately stiffens up. Why? I mean, I know I'm hiding something outrageous right now, but... What's what? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, there's no way she saw Tenma. Stay calm. Keep up your poker face. Huh? I let out a weird voice when I notice what appears to be a pleated skirt and a uniform coat in a neatly folded pile by my feet. Tenma probably laid them out so she could wake up early and change into them. Uh, that's nice, but I wish she'd be a little more aware of the fact that she's not supposed to be here. Suki barges in and walks up beside me, placing a hand on the bed. I can't help but look away from the disaster in progress. I guess this is the end. Tenma sounds half asleep. I mean, she did just wake up. No, Suki, please, no. We need you. Listen, please, please listen, Suki. I can explain. There were avoidable circumstances that were... I'm sorry, they were unavoidable. Okay. <sighs> oh, that sucked. Several minutes later, I'm sitting up straight on my knees like a prisoner about to be beheaded. For some reason, an embarrassed Tenma and an expressionless Suki come out of my room together. It's not what it looks like. Dearest Tsuki, please don't listen to me. Tsuki's not accepting any excuses. She's scary when she's like this. There's nothing I can say to appease her, so I've got no other option but to talk with Tenma. Hey, why are you still here? I told you to take the first train home, didn't I? Uh, I can't blame her to be fair, but fucking hell, man. Fucking hell, look what you've done. The sleepy Tenma-san giggles as she lightly scratches the back of her head. For someone who just got up, she looks pretty well-kempt. <laughs> well-kempt. Interesting. I guess she freshened herself up while I was waiting. Her hair's still down, though. Including the fact that she paid money to be our friend? Oh, I see. Ah, thank goodness. In that case, Tsuki should know that I've done nothing wrong. Absolutely. You seem oddly distrusting this morning. 
I look away from Tsuki and talk with Tenma again. My little sister is frightening. Tsuki <laughs> san, for someone complaining about getting head pats, you seem to be enjoying them, even when they're not from me. Tsuki, if I wanted to do something naughty, you wouldn't have caught me. <sighs> and we breathe a sigh of relief. I know, right? Can't say I don't understand what you're getting at. <laughs> uh, Tsuki-san? You seem a little happy for some reason. You gotta be Oni-chan's little sister forever, or I'll be sad. Aren't we running late? Man, fuck, I'm getting hungry. Should order some food at some point. Um, why are you already buddy buddy with Tenma? Are you kicking me out? Your own Oni-chan? Hey, why are you trying to have breakfast here anyway? Go home already! I thought you wanted to be a badass. Well, you're right about that. I have no idea what you think badassery is. Man, that was quick. Wait, a full Japanese breakfast? Those are quite um, extensive, aren't they? There's loads of stuff in them. Uh, hey, I called in advance, didn't I? As you can see, Tsuki's real particular about us eating meals together, so she gets real bitter if I stand her up. The badass princess puts her hands together and starts eating. As Tenma casually chows down, Tsuki looks at her with a slightly faraway look. It's hard to believe there's someone besides me and Tsuki sitting at this dinner table. Oh, fucking hell, I cut it early. Um, pretty much, yeah. Hey, don't go telling her weird things. I didn't want you to know. Ah. Just shut up and eat, or you'll be late. Hi. After that, Tenma ignores me and chats it up with Tsuki. I know I'm not one to talk, but Tsuki's got a difficult personality herself, and yet she's already opening up to her. It makes me a jealous Oni-chan for some reason. Despite saying that, Tsuki makes some space for Tenma to stand by the sink. Sister of mine, don't fall for this badass on a student's tricks. Hmm. Listen up, when crossing the road, always use the pedestrian crossings and look left, right and left again before you cross. Oh man, that takes me back. I remember those fucking school safety adverts. Um, it was like with some hedgehogs or some shit and they had a song or something. Hey, Tenma stares dubiously at our pleasant sibling banter. What is it, sister of mine? No! Why? Why am I being ostracized? I am the big brother here! Yeah, that's concerning. 
Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. She's going to start putting two and two together about Sagawa. And Tsuki here will start thinking that Tenma is more like the girlfriend. Hey, seriously, we're gonna be late. When I call out to her, Tenma runs over in sandals, which really don't match her uniform. I lent her those sandals. They're a little too big, but she can't walk properly with her broken shoes. The broken heel is packed neatly in a bag, wrapped up in a plastic bag she got from Tsuki. Is she seriously going to name that thing? What? I wanted to, obviously, but Tsuki gave me a warning. Uh, let's go. It's a little frustrating that she read me like an open book. Ah, oh, thank God we're back somewhere normal. Tenma gets caught as soon as she walks into the room behind me. I figured we didn't have to worry about arriving together since it's not like anybody would care about me. And I figured right. いつものフローラルの香りじゃなくて。これは ママちゃんならスミの抜け毛とか集めてそうだもんね。いや、私もさすがにそこまでは。あれ、なんで私が飛び消されてるの？今そういう流れじゃなかったじゃん。さっきはセミちゃんの味方だよ。ママちゃん
Just a couple of brainiacs over here. Look at them. I have to admit, I was also that guy who put off the homework until the last minute. When are these exams? Just before the break starts. Right? そうだね。勉強しよう。うん。しよう。大事だもんね。ということで、すみさま勉強を教えてください。見事なまでの手のひらが絵師ね。いいけど、数学は無理だよ。私は苦手だから。うん。ふふふ。それなら私が教えて死
夏休み前に男紹介してもらうスケジュールを抑えるつもりだぞうんでもさ戦力は多い方がいいもんねスミは数学苦手だしセミちゃんだってそうでしょこれはサキたちの将来のためでもあるんだよ I can't argue with it. It's pretty good logic. すんげえ適当にもっともらしいこと言ってるまだけど確かに一理あるわごめんエミ頼めるしょしょうがないなもうじゃあ決まりねスミも参加だからねうんいいよあスミが起きた体調大丈夫なのへえー、きこれからたっぷり寝るから<笑> Good time to get sleeping, huh? You don't say to a moina, you had to get me. That's the what I see. You don't say, Nanka, and I move. The starting bell rings, causing the girls to disperse. <laughs> and as they head to their seats, Tenma looks at me and gives me that gross, confident smile of hers. I know she wants to be a badass, but is declaring the intent to sleep in class really something to be that proud of? Or is she trying to say, lucky you, getting to join in your girlfriend's study session? After all, Tenma's under the misconception that Sagawa and I are actually dating, and she's only keeping it a secret out of embarrassment. Or rather, I'm the one who led her to believe that. <laughs> Emmy, 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 you poor child, you brought this on yourself. Sagawa, on the other hand, is falling into despair in his seat. Now that I've got secret contracts with two of my classmates, the classroom feels different from usual. Yeah, tell me about it. Regardless, I sleep like a log during class to make up for my sleepless night. Yeah, and you were telling her off about it. Mmm. <laughs> Okay. Ugh. As I prepare for another shift today at Sunny and Lettuce, Sigawa calls out to me with a serious look on her face. Sorry, I'm sleepy today. Maybe some other time. I feel bad for her. Look at that teary eyed face. Hey, cut it out. You're gonna pull my pants down. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You're gonna pull my pants down. Do you want to make an exhibitionist out of me? When she clings to my pants, half in tears, I've got no choice but to listen. Ah, uh, you showed off for something weird again, didn't you? Not only are you a show off, you're uncomfortably self conscious too, huh? I'm out. Can you quit clinging to my pants already? Whenever you need me for something, it's always for the same exact thing, isn't it? Yeah, so I already know. You're as charming as ever, I see. So what is it this time? Oh, right. That. You girls did talk about that, huh? Weren't you paying attention, mate? It was just the last scene. If it's on Sunday, sure. That'll be another 20,000 yen. You say something? If you're having difficulty affording our fee, we can offer a low interest rate. Loan. Do not take those options. Sigawa sneaks a peek into her wallet and starts trembling. Whoa! <laughs> Poor Sakawa. Fine, ten thousand. Thanks for giving me the idea. Uh, but we got paid a hefty amount from uh, Tenma, so. You're paranoid too? You're one unmanageable mess, huh? I just thought the price might have been a bit too much. It might be a, it it, it would it, it might it'd be a problem. Okay, I I messed that one up. Okay, it'd be a problem for me if you immediately ran out of money and couldn't commission me anymore. 
It's not like I lowered the price out of pity for Zagawa or anything like that. Taking the large sum of 100,000 from Tenma had an unexpected effect on me, causing me to ask for a relatively more reasonable price. Hey, don't do that. Uh-huh. What's your problem? Not only are you an awkwardly self-conscious paranoid show-off, you're cocky and needy too? You're a hopeless woman. <laughs> Money is without sin, so it feels amazing. And proud of it. Not as odd as you, though. Mm, here we go. Can you not shout for every little thing? The younger Izumi slides in between me and Segawa. Alright, she works here too. Mate, how could you forget that she works here too? That last scene with her was something else. Fucking amazing. Good for her. Greetings are important. Neither of you! If we were going through a rough patch, it would be more brutal. Maybe? Wait, don't ask that. You're too young to know. Straight up. <laughs> Why are you hitting me? Next time you hit me, you're gonna get gut punched. <sighs> Whoa. Hey, wh why are you flinching? <sighs> Have I mentioned that Konatsu is the best? Honestly. The perverted little sister runs out into the hall with a satisfied look on her face. Don't you say anything bad about her. She's good. She's amazing. She's perfect the way she is. Why? Does it hurt your virgin ears? Hmm. Apparently no. Tenma told me the same thing. And with that, Sikawa heads into the hall. I guess I'd better get to work too. <laughs> this is the first time she's seeing us here, isn't it? Good evening. Saraji san immediately freezes when she sees my face. She's sitting at the counter in a suit. She must be on her way back from work. Use your head, you're a teacher. I'm behind the counter. I'm not following you. You walked into my workplace. My classmate said the same thing just a moment ago, but I don't have that much free time. Yes, I've been working here for quite some time. No, I'm just fucking poor as fuck. You too, Suraji-san. You seem tired. Exam season, huh? She looks far more exhausted than me. She's probably got a lot on her plate, like test prep and pre-summer course training. Is this your first time here? Oh yeah, she's the new owner, isn't she? Yeah, I haven't seen her around now that you mention it. The new... Oh, sorry. The owner should be at work around now, but she's nowhere to be seen. Speaking of Toyama-san, she found out I'm a student. Your student. I was somehow able to weasel my way out, though. Incidentally, the story we're going with is that I'm the one who approached you, Saraji-san. <laughs> Mm, 
Sorry. Beep. She's totally glaring at me. Wait, what did she do? 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 Man, that's quite some service. I remember over here in some restaurants, like, I've been wait you wait an hour for a drink that you've already ordered, and they're like, ah, ah, uh, I don't know. Fucking pricks. Soraji san was about to say something. I didn't expect someone like Sagawa would think I was slacking off and butt in. I guess for now I'll or I guess for now I'll leave Soraji san and head back to the kitchen to pass off her order. Wait, Steve! Rude! I was taking her order. <laughs> I don't know if I'd call her an acquaintance per se. Even if she knows about my rental work, I can't exactly tell my fake girlfriend about my fake mistress. Hmm. I mean, I don't personally, but our dude might. What makes you think that? Segawa jumps to her own conclusions as she, head ba as she heads back to work. Well, I guess that's better than her sticking her nose where it doesn't belong. Sorry for the wait. Here's your order. <laughs> what girl? Oh, Sigawa? No, not at all. I'm sorry, but your eyes must be tired from work. What is she doing anyway? Huh? When I turn oh fuck. When I turn around, I see the younger Izumi staring real close at me and Saraji san. Hey, wage thief, stop slacking and get to work. Saraji san seems a little dubious, so I pull the younger Izumi away. Second time we've been asked that. What is up with you girls? Don't just assume I've got a thing for older women, okay? <laughs> it had to come round to this, didn't it? Don't go from one extreme to the other! <sighs> mm. Okay, okay, that's enough talk. Now get back to work. <laughs> oh dear. If I respond to everything she says, we'll be here all day. So I leave her and get back to work. Are you our only customer? Yes? What is it? Once Saraji san's done eating, she calls out to me. Man, this diary's filling up fast. So on Saturday, we've got the teacher, and on Sunday, we've got Sigawa. Yes, that's perfectly fine with me. Uh, okay, you take care too, Saraji san. After quickly finishing a meal, Saraji san leaves. Her face looks tired, but seeing him. <laughs> But seeing her make her swift, graceful exit from behind reminds me that she's a working adult woman. Yes. Oh, what tangled webs we weave. So I'm fully booked again this week, huh? Saturday is Saraji-san, Sunday's the study session with Sagawa. I know this is strictly work, but it still feels like a pretty satisfying schedule. Oh, I'm sleepy and tired too. Guess I'd better get home and eat dinner with Tsuki. Hmm. Guess I'd better get going. I've gotten used to seeing this fake girlfriend of mine, but she's making that face she uses when she's about to ask for something unreasonable. I wanted to get away, but I was a step too late. You again? Are you trying to get Stalker added to your list of shameful titles? Sorry, but I'm not available 24-7. Huh, I'm not going to fall for the same trick as last time. I've been home late quite a bit recently. It's putting, it's putting Suki in a bad mood. 
No matter how much money I can earn, my little sister is my top priority. Oh, wow. I was about to say good on him, but man, whoa. Oh, she's bowing down. Okay. Have you no pride? I'm taken aback when Sigawa starts prostrating herself in no time at all. You! Regardless of what the truth may be, when a woman's prostrating herself in front of a man in a crowded area like this, the attention's gonna fall on me, not her. If pictures of this spread on social media, it's gonna be a train wreck. It's the same stunt that New Who Girl pulled. They really are childhood friends, I guess. Okay, okay, fine. Now get up before I expose all of your show off lies. Stop! <laughs> You're so selfish. There's a lot you don't want to hear from me. Come here a sec. You're not only loud, but shameless. I swat off some of the dust that stuck to her arms when she was on the ground. I just don't want to walk next to a dirty woman, that's all. Well, maybe I wouldn't have to stoop so low if you didn't stoop so low. I thought you were a show-off. If only you were dishonest normally. Good grief. You just make things harder for yourself. Oh, and I am charging, of course. Don't think it'll be cheap just because you prostrated yourself. Call me what you will. Segawa glares at me as I take a 1,000 yen bill. I guess I've got no room to judge. Yes! Back to McDonald's. So, what is it? I said I'd join you in that study session, didn't I? Is there something else you need? Oh no. Sigawa shows me her chat log. Yep, I can believe that. ベンキョウ教えてもらえる上にお友達の紹介してもらえる。一石二鳥じゃん。天才と褒め称えてほしいくらいよ。ん?すみ、何この気持ち悪い緑の顔がついた壺の画像は。ママ、こういう子なやつ
めっちゃ冷や汗かいてるけど。I'm fine. I just had a nightmare mid thought. それ、寝てたんじゃないの Man, I really want to eat now. Hey, I'm wrecking my brains here for your sake. Don't just casually munch on fries like that. I do actually. I'll take it. It's not like it was mouth to mouth. Don't overreact. If that's enough to set you off, are you sure you can pretend to be my girlfriend again? Sorry, I couldn't think of any. So, Sazoka Samishi Jin say, Oh, good, the Kitano, eh? Nemo, so they mo Jin to cut the Yamanas and I? Though, say, who done, Kara, Okane no go to Bakari congate in the show? I'd rather not have any friendships than have all my friendships plastered in lies like you. Man, that was actually fucking cold. <laughs> A show off like you can't possibly get the better of me. The fact of the matter is that I don't care if I don't have friends, but you do. Can you please not worry about me seriously like that? Is she feeding me like a wild animal? I seriously don't care, so why am I suddenly feeling so miserable? Uh, oh, that reminds me. You've got no room to talk about having friends when you keep showing off to, your, to keep yours. Knock it down a peg. As the show-off pouts and nibbles on her fries, I ignore her and call a certain phone number. Yes! Yes! It's Shinkai. Sorry for the late call. Tests are coming up on early next week, so can you help us with a study session this weekend? I see. I owe you one. I'll send you the details later. Yeah. After that short, concise phone call, Segawa looks at me strange. What are you talking about? That's the best kind of conversation. It's just straight, to the point, no horse shit. He's less of a friend and more congenial company. I thought we simply shared the common feature of being little sister loving big brothers, but I guess Sagawa's got a point. In any case, I feel comfortable around him. Ha! Huh. Fnet. The younger Hinayama forced his contact info onto me, but it turned out to be useful in the end. He's not the type to sweat the details like that. He's a little blunt, but he's always considerate. I think he'd be a good tutor. Oh, I know, they want some man meat. And trust me, he's got plenty of that. True, studying isn't the real reason they wanted someone. But there aren't many guys out there who hate being introduced to girls, so I think we'll be fine. You shouldn't sweat the details either. <laughs> you should thank me for stepping up in your time of need. Well, maybe I should learn a thing or two from this honest side of her. Let's see, how about we call it your selfish bitch fee instead? <laughs> Fucking hell, Yuki. If only she didn't try to pull out stuff like this. Yeah. After seeing Sagawa off at the station, I make my way back too. Today felt like another long day. My lips are tired from all this talking. My weekend's fully booked now. Usually I just have a boring time at work. I guess it still is work though. There's no real need to have detailed plans for your days off. At least that's what I thought until just recently.
バイトするたび財布が軽くなってる気がするうん、mm, indeed Oh, okay, I'm going to save the game here Yeah Yes And I think that's enough for now Oh boy Man, what do I say to that? Nothing, except let's hope that the、uh, study session goes well. But before the study session, we've got to meet with Aki and. I've honestly forgotten the teacher's name, but the teacher as well. So we'll see how that goes next time. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye, everyone. <laughs>